Hello again, this is Randy. As we continue to learn to simplify algebraic expressions, we are actually preparing ourselves to solve problems that go beyond just the scope of algebra. For example, in physics, Newton's law of universal gravitation requires some of the skills that we'll be practicing today. Let's go. So we need to perform the following operation, and in this case we are doing a polynomial divided by x. But what does it mean to actually divide this polynomial by x? Well, we need to take this x cubed and divide it by x, and then we'll say minus 15x squared divided by x, and then we'll say plus 20x divided by x. So let's rewrite all of that, but with the divisions separated. So we're going to say, instead of x cubed, we're going to say x times x times x, all divided by this x right here. So there it is. And then we're going to say minus, because we have a minus right here. 15 times x times x, all divided by x. And lastly, plus 20x divided by x. So 20 times x divided by x. Now, when we separate, for example, the x cubed into x times x times x, that just makes it a little bit easier to cancel if possible. If you can do it mentally without writing out the x times x times x, that's totally fine. So here we have one x that will cancel on top and bottom. Here we have another x that will cancel on top and bottom. And once again, we have an x here on top and an x here on bottom that will cancel. So now let's rewrite all of what we have here without the fractions because all of the denominators canceled, which means that it's like we have one on bottom of each of those fractions. So we don't need to write that fraction anymore because if something is over one, it, it is the same as that something. You can think of that one in the denominator as implied, so we don't need to write it. Just like if we have a one in the exponent of some number or some variable, that one is implied and we also don't need to write it. x times x is x squared, and then minus 15 times x is 15x, 15x, and then plus just 20, because all of the variables in this part canceled. So x squared minus 15x plus 20 is the simplified expression after doing our division. So this next example is a little bit more complicated because you'll notice that our third term on the top, the 7, has no x. So we'll talk about how to deal with that problem. So once again, uh, we're going to do this first term divided by x minus the next term divided by x, and then plus the last term divided by x. So let's write all of this out. So we're going to say 4 times x times x times x times x, all divided by x, minus 5 times x times x divided by x, and then plus 7 divided by x. Now let's cancel all of the x's that we can. So in this first part, we have one x on top and bottom that can cancel. So goodbye, goodbye. And then here we also have an x on top and bottom that will cancel. But we do not have any x on top in this last fraction. So we cannot get rid of the fraction because there's nothing to cancel. So let's rewrite everything that we have now as simply as possible. So 4 times x times x times x is 4x cubed. So we have 4x cubed. And then minus, we have 5 times x is the same as saying 5x. And then lastly, we cannot get rid of this fraction like I mentioned. So this third part of the polynomial is going to remain a fraction. So we're going to say plus 7 over x. So now that we have divided every term from this original expression by x, we have our simplified expression. And that is everything. See you next time. Hey.